All right, so this vehicle is the vehicle that has the issue, right, where the the vehicle is not um, laying, is not letting you rev, you know? When you step on the X, it's not letting you rev out, so I was calling to ask for more, you know, some insight on it on where, where they should um, attack. So I'm gonna just check some PIDs, some data PIDs, and I'm gonna tell how this vehicle is running. Right, so let's see what's going on here. I see the vehicle seem like it's hunting, it's suffering for something. Right, they came in for transmission problems, and well, they asked the garage if they could sort it out for them. I'm not sure how the vehicle was running in the first place, right? But these um, GDI is known for injector issues, mechanical pump issues, and uh. What else? The throttle body issues and the airflow issue, right? So right now the vehicle is running. Let's read for any fault codes first. Right, feeling like the vehicle is, you know, having problems staying alive. <laughs> so we're gonna go here, we're gonna go directly to the fuel. I'm gonna go before it cuts off. Come on, where are you? Injector, engine speed, and um, I'm looking for the right. So I'm going after the engine speed, fuel pressure, and the injector, right? So, like I said the engine is is running. It seems like it's have like it's hunting. All right, so let's grab this. All right, right now you see the injector is staying open longer. It's idling, and my foot is not on the, the X. All right, you see it's like 3.4. My fuel pressure at two megapascal. That's really low, and my idles, my speed is like 500. All right, so I'm gonna increase the speed real quick to see what's going on and as you can see my injector have to stay open too long but my fuel pressure is dropping off let's open this up so my, it look like it's, this is suffering from a mechanical fuel pump issue it could be the cam lobe that's supposed to make contact with the the um, internals of the mechanical pump, but as I said, look what happened, it cuts off and the vehicle is off. So we're gonna try to start again and see what we get. So um, it's like the pump is trying to build pressure, but it's, it's not keeping the pressure. So because of that, the injector got to stay open longer. Anytime you step on the X. All right, so I'm gonna make the call on the fuel pump, right? Based on what I'm, based on what I'm getting, I'm gonna make a call on the fuel pump and we'll be able to take it from there right so I'm gonna let the shop update me on what what they're gonna do as I said man I believe that is, is the fuel pump it has the issue it's not building enough pressure and it's dropping off it's not even it's not even keeping the pressure sometimes it's building and sometimes it's not as I said I will ask them to inspect the the mechanical pump lobe um, contact area because the lobe tends to wear at times and it's not making proper contact in the the pump and causing it to drop off so we don't know if it's a camshaft that they need to get or if it's uh or if it's the pump itself right but let me show you where that pump is located 
All right, so this pump is located right here. It's a mechanical pump. So this is the feed from the tank, and one is the return, the bleed off, right? And there's a side load, like a basically a side activated pump, right? Where some of the turtles used to be on the head. This one is on the side where the cam lobe will make contact with the internals of the pump and activate the spring to build that pressure, right? So it could go straight to the rail through this line. But it seems like it's not doing it or partially doing it at times. It could be wear and tear from the on the pump on the hole, right? Yeah, so they have different types of these GDIs, right? They have the ones where it's interlock onto the camshaft from the front here, right? Like a distributor type. And then it has the one that goes on to the back of the cam and um, in the back of the engine. Right, and we activate all the cam lobe, right, as this type. And then, matter of fact, there are some others here, so I'm gonna just show you how they look. This is another type of GDI, right, Lancer. It's a 4G15, right? You notice how this one is oriented, right, where the feed is coming through here, right, and then it's, it's feeding and goes to the injector rail, right? Probably this is your returns or something like that. And then you got this one here. This one is interlocked into the cam, right? On the egg, on the intake side, right? Interlock on the intake side, so it boosts and sends the fuel to the back of the injector rail. So they have various types. All of them are different. The same engine, 4G15, uh, well 4G63 or 4G93. It's side activated where the next one was interlock into the intake cam. Right, so we got another GDI here on the in the garage. Right, this carry the 4G93. Right, um, it's a CS2 Lancer, same vehicle like that one that I'm having issues with. I believe this is the 4G15. Right, um, what I'm gonna do is take the capture the no good information for me and compare it to. What I'm getting on that engine, yes, this vehicle is kind of dirty, but uh, as I said, it's unknown good that we got on the garage here. Since we got a known good vehicle here, where I ran a scan on it and we didn't have no fault codes, so what I'm gonna do now is just take some data from it right you see the engine speed is at 785 and the max pressure is reaching up to 537 fuel rate pressure and the injector is staying open at 3.3 and that's when I snap the trailer right so this is a known good reference of the vehicle that I'm sitting in currently right um it has no full code Matter of fact, let's record this so we could compare it to the one that's giving trouble. All right, so this is a problem child vehicle, right? As I said, you notice on the other vehicle, we got um, max pressure at 5.3 megapascals, right? And the injector was like three, was staying open like three milliseconds, right? So we're going to come out of there and we're going to start this vehicle up and do the same thing. And see what we get in. Right, so if you notice, sometimes you see the fuel pressure is at 2.4 megapascal, and the injector is staying open a little longer. The RPM is at 500 when it's supposed to be like 750 and up right so the fuel pressure is definitely dropping off and not allowing the vehicle to idle right so i'm gonna let someone step on the x and see if that if it will increase i guess so this is probably why they moved away from this mechanical uh, activated pumps and went for the electrical ones on the GDI system because there's a lot of wear and tear and variables to come into it especially 
you know, if it's connected to the camshaft, but if, if the coin's not changing the oil, the oil on time, that could, you know, have severe wear and tear. Um, I mean, the matching stuff on the axle a little bit broken. cuts out. Stop. Alright, so we're gonna as I said I'm gonna let the client know the shop know what they need to do. Right and yeah.